Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to manage and organize the tracks in your session so you can stay creative using Studio One. Let's take a look. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily organize your music document right here. Now I have some files imported and what I'm talking about is, well, you got multiple different colors here. And if you notice on the left hand column, the instruments aren't really grouped because when I imported these files, you know, it took it as a lump sum and just put them in order the way that the computer figured it out would be, make more sense to it. But we know better. Here I've got acoustic guitars, for example, backup vocals, bass, hi-hat, kick, and then lead guitars again. What if I want to get all of the drums together in one place? Well, it's really easy. In Studio One, all you have to do, for example, is select my overheads here. And I'm going to hold Shift, and then I'm going to drag these two up to the very top, and there they are. So now I'm organizing this the way I want it. I want to add all my drums in the same place. I'll take the hi-hat, the kick, and both the snare top and snare bottom. And we'll bring those up here. So now, as you can see, I've got all of my drums forming at the top here. And let's grab some tambourine and these two toms uh, right there. Okay, so there we go. So you can easily drag any of these files anywhere in order of the session. That's really easy. Now you have lead guitars, pianos, rhythm guitars, vocals, great. Now, if you want to color these drums to identify them quickly, as you can do, I'm gonna hold my shift key and select them all and then choose from the color box here. You can see how it's automatically grouping the colors and changing them to whatever I want. I often like brown, it's a warm, you know, natural kind of tone. These are real drums recorded live. And it's as easy as that. There we go. Now, you can also double click here at any time and rename your tracks to anything you want. They're taking these names from the imported tracks that I, I was given for this session. And it's what the WAV files were really named. But if you want to change them at any time, feel free to just double click and it's as easy, easy as that. And if you want to see more of your session, you can select and drag more if you have longer names or shorter names. There, and this is how you can start organizing what it is you're looking at here and changing the colors of your tracks. And of course, come up to file and choose save at any time and that'll handle that. Now, another really interesting uh, and powerful tool within Studio One is organizing. Under song, I can choose song information and this window pops up. Now, right now there's nothing here or rather the incorrect information that is. By selecting in here, I come to Song Setup Meta Information. Here's where we can add the title to the song. Now we have to add the artist, Zach Radcliffe. You can add particular comments. The songwriter is Chuck Alkazian and Zach Radcliffe. So let's just say Chuck. Any further information you want here, including website and copyright agreements. You can also add an image here. Why don't we do that? Since it was recorded at Pearl Sound Studios in Detroit, there we go. And then when you have all that information you want, simply hit OK. Now we have song information. You can also start adding notes here, which is really important if you want to organize your session, and track notes. If I select overheads, now I can, for example, run in the, um, the kind of microphones I was using, for example, U87. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Let's say any one of these mics, I could put a snare, just simply type it right in. Uh, you can write any, 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 anything you want. You could do uh, an SM57, for example, hit OK. And now as you see, it's actually adding track notes to all of these that you wanted. I really love doing this because sometimes you look back and you wonder and you wish and you say, hey, what microphone did I use there? Well, now you can actually organize this. Just a little bit of notes goes a long way in your sessions. All right, so here we have an image and our song information is now available to us. And of course, when we save this, it'll all, that metadata will now be blended in with this music document. So here's a way to start organizing your projects before you get started mixing, coloring tracks, naming tracks, moving them around, and creating a song information metadata data that is tied in to your session. This is all about good housekeeping, people. Do it 
Trust me, it'll, it'll help you in the long run. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.